All right, welcome back to the Road to Supersonic Legends series. We're on episode number two for today. And in the last episode, we played four matches and ended up in silver one. So pretty good so far. I explained a lot about my thoughts about how to improve in bronze. I mean, it's very, very low rank. And I think that if you just take your time to, uh, you know, work on your core mechanics and just driving around the, the pitch in free play, you'll definitely find that that will help you uh, rank up slowly but surely. So like I said, we're on episode number two and we have four matches out of our 10 placements so far. Probably by the end of this episode, we'll probably, probably play three more and then do three for the last uh, three placements in the next episode. I've placed all of these in a playlist for you. It's called Road to Supersonic Legend 2023. And uh, before we jump into the matches, I actually have another meme of the day. So thank you to Juicebox for today's dentals. Very similar to rentals yesterday, so we'll have to uh, see what we can do with this one. All right, so I got a good starting point here with a dentist office or a dental office, and uh, this guy's smiling. But I think the only photo that I could find of rentals that would kind of fit this this position is this one, and he's not happy about it, which almost makes it even funnier. So let's try to uh, position this with this guy and see what we can do. Um, let's start with this actually. We so we we probably want to grab uh, any of the objects that would be in front of rentals. Um, so anything like this, and then I'll just have to clean this up later, but grab the mouthpiece and then potentially this might be in front of his face too. So now I don't think doesn't really work on this angle here. Um, it looks like more that he's like sleeping in her arms. So what I'm going to try and do is actually flip this horizontally and see if that works. Yeah. Now he looks mad at her. <laughs> okay. So let's try that. That seems pretty good. We've got a lot of cleanup to do. Actually, I kind of want to grab, uh, the shirt of this guy. Let's see what we can do. All right, the shirt's in place. Unfortunately, we actually have his chin in the way right here. So I, what I have to do is actually grab uh, the stamp tool and I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here. I'm not very good at using this tool, so bear with me. All right, so I'm gonna have to paint right here and uh, try to match up the the neck as much as I can. Uh, I don't know what is happening. I mean, this is looking okay. I might need to grab the shirt as well. So let's go here, uh, stamp tool again. This is this is a nightmare. Okay, <laughs> let's let's uh let's just put this back here and see what happens. So I've painted on his face by accident. So Rettles looks pretty good, but there's still this problem, and I'm not even sure what layer that's on because I'm getting so confused. Okay, so it's the bottom layer here. So I need to like basically just stamp tool and paint the rest of the blue here. So let's grab this selection here and just kind of come in, paint it up, kind of clean it up a little bit. I mean, this is already looking pretty good. I'm getting off center here. Let's, let's center it up a little bit. All right, I'm pretty happy with this. I think this is pretty funny. This is Dentals for the second episode. Thank you again to Juicebox. Like I said, if you want to be the next featured comment, make sure to drop some suggested names. I definitely take a look every day on all these, uh, all the videos and uh, find some of the best ones. This is this is hilarious. All right, we got game number one on Aquadome. We got CSAD, Hello, and uh, Little Rojo. So what you're going to want to do is flip towards the, the kickoff. We can see a player was AFK on kickoff. That seems to be very, very common down here for some reason. I guess people are tabbed out or something. But... Um, starting off on kickoffs, you're probably going to want to like boost towards, uh, the, the ball and you can start to incorporate some flips and that way you can save boost and also get to the ball a little faster. When this ball is really high, I'm just going to line myself up to get in the way of the ball right here. I don't need to do too much. And also I did, did not mention today. Uh, the rule is still, I cannot score. So I have to, uh, Does that count? <laughs> Did I score or is that just... There's no shot. Anyway, uh, I'm trying to like explain a lot of thoughts at the same time. I'm just gonna pit this towards them. I'm not sure what's going on. That's a good pop towards the net. So hopefully my teammate can get this. Nice try on the touch. It's not It's not on target. So once I see that, I'm just gonna sit behind it. And see, I'm not, I don't have to do too much. I'm just driving behind the ball, just staying really close. Good try from this guy. Um, the biggest problem at the lowest ranks, like I talked about in the last episode, is just timing. Timing in this game is very, very difficult. Um, it's all about just knowing... I'm, I'm probably playing too fast here. I'm not really sure. Um, it's all about timing of your, your turns. So playing in free play and, and understanding like how fast your car adjusts to like stopping. Like, see how fast you can stop. I'm, I'm going full speed and then I can like stop on a dime. So knowing all that with the brakes and uh, knowing how to like pump fake and like position pretty well close to the ball is going to help you timing your flips and stuff at this level i don't feel like using boost is like oh hello uh, is is too too important um because as you can see moving too fast is going to be really difficult uh whereas if you just take your time and find the right position and sit behind the ball and let it come to you a lot of the time like that's a great great attempt from him that would have been a goal if he hit the ball on target um 
like I said, as as the ranks go up, you're gonna find that specific things that you do won't work at higher level ranks. And that's I think that's a big misconception about players. They they like say a player in diamond, right? They do a bunch of stuff that works for them, like a bunch of fakes or a bunch of dribbles. They get into champ and they think, oh, the players are just better than me. It's like, no, no, you may be at the level of champ, but unfortunately you aren't changing up your play style. Like you're not adapting to the current players that, you know, fake the ball in a specific way. I can't touch this. Let my teammate finish this one. Um, basically, you just have to adapt to what's in front of you. And I think that's a big thing in Rocket League that people try to predict too much. I'm guilty of that myself in Supersonic Legend even. So it's a common issue. Oh, that's a, that's a little bit of a spooky one. Um, the reason why that, that failed for him when he went for the kickoff was because when he was going straight towards the ball and he tried to adjust with his flip, it's really hard to time. I mean, it's not really hard. It's just, it's, it's harder to time your flip if you, uh, don't line up your, your direction onto the ball first. So what you want to do is, oh, good try from him. Um, you want to adjust your turns on the kickoff towards the ball and point your nose in the direction. Um, oh, <laughs> I scored again. That was what went in. Oh, it's this guy again. He <laughs> was he the one who put it in first? I mean, they both have really high ping. This is this is rough. Um, but as I was saying, pointing your nose in the direction of the ball, that's also going to help you with aerials as well. Because a lot of players... I'm not going to touch this. I don't want to touch the ball at all. I'm just going to leave. That probably looks so weird for everybody in the lobby. All right, good bump from him. Oh, he's trying to turn. That would have that would have been solved if he uh, used his drift, and that will come into play more and more in the future. A lot of players in the early uh, ranks they don't use the drift, so they can't turn on a dime like this. And also, if I hold my drift and I do this, I'm gonna spin out of control. So what I like to do is do a tap, 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 and look how tight my turns are, and I'm not out of control. I still have grip on the ground and everything. Um, that's gonna really really help you. So big clear here. See if my teammate can push up the field. Hopefully, CSAT doesn't. Uh, own goal again. That's pretty fast from this guy. I can let this ball roll around the corner and stay with it. Never mind. Uh, I'm going to stay here close to the ball and see what happens with hello. My teammate's pretty close, but that's okay as long as I get a 50-50. I saw some comments pe saying people uh, people didn't like that I called it 50-50 instead of just 50. I don't know. It's just a thing I say. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, bye-bye ball. So what you could do is half flip. I mean, that's like a higher level thing, but I you can do a lot of like look at a lot of tutorials on how to do things like that. Like half flipping is when you do this and you you flip. I mean, I didn't do it well there, but I'm just trying to explain. Like, if I was to do a proper half flip, it's like this, and then flip over to the side. These are kind of mechanics that you can slowly learn at any level, and I think that it's important to, you know, utilize what you can. Mechanics aren't everything in this game. I mean, you could win a game by literally sitting on the floor most of the time, except for, like, specific aerials, especially at this rank. It's a good try on the, a the aerial there. See if my teammate goes back. I'm not sure where he is. Good save off to the side. I'm trying my best, really. Like, I'm really trying not to, you know, show off or, like, you know, play at this rank to, you know, just win. I'm, I'm really trying to just explain how to, uh, you know, position and play better at these ranks. And, you know, we've already lost, I think, two games in the first episode. I can't remember if we lost one or two. I think it was only one, actually. And uh, Affytron wasn't actually a smurf. Spoiler. This might go go in here if they can get it drive towards the net nice finish so i'm really just trying to show like what works and what doesn't work at every rank and right now like most of the time he's saying what to save was he what is saving me <laughs> i'm not quite sure that's interesting um i'm really trying to show like what what can work strategically and what mechanically in the future will will not work um, at specific ranks and obviously as you play the game it takes hundreds of hours to get really good at this game and that's the crazy thing about rocket league is it's very very unique in that in that front most games like translate pretty well to each other this game does not um but we're already seeing silver threes so this win will probably bring us into some gold matches as you can see uh hello there he has got an energy tag uh has a season eight tournament winner in gold so um, we're probably going to see more players like that as we go up. So let's see how gold plays out. I feel so free in free play. <laughs> like, it feels so... I don't know. I, I'm playing so slow. And then I got to, like, you know, make sure I'm not playing like that in my Supersonic Legend games later in the day. Also, I hope I'm doing a good job of explaining my thoughts. I mean, I, I'm all over the place. And that's, like, literally just my brain is just, like, trying to explain things more than I can talk. Like, I, I'm just, like, I'm on the third, uh, like, bullet point before I even finish the first one. So... 
I apologize if it's all over the place at the start. It'll get a lot better as we get through the series, I promise. Um, there's just so much to explain in the early early ranks. And I'm sure that there are a lot of players who watch this and you guys are, you know, further along in the in the ranked leaderboard than this. But uh, I'm trying to explain stuff that would be helpful for not only, you know, bronze, silver, and gold players, but also uh, players who have played the game for, uh, you know, hundreds of hours are in diamond, champ, you know, grand champ even. Uh, the basics are very, very good in this game to, you know, hammer down the fundamentals. Because even, uh, I, I, I've seen Grand Champion level players who, uh, you know, have sort of had some shortcomings as far as, like, uh, decision making, you know, things that you should do as far as, like, supporting your teammates and stuff. And I think that, um, you know, there's always stuff to learn, even even on my half of the game. You know, just, like, up, up, up in uh, Super Sonic Legend, there's... So many things players learn all the time, and uh, that's what's so cool about Rocket League is it's... Imagine you are in the first few years of, like, football or soccer, um, and you are, like, experimenting and trying to learn uh, how to play that game professionally or, or properly. There's so many levels to it, and uh, football has been around for, for so long, and, you know, there's still new things coming out in uh, the sport. So, we got the second game here. We got Degrino. Uh, and Matthias and Millie. So I'm gonna flip towards the ball. Seems like players go for back corner boost. So what I could do is go around the ball here and chip it towards the net. I'm not going to because I might accidentally score. Uh, my teammate's sitting in mid. He's getting uh, ready for the ball. That's a nice turn for him. Uh, the way that he lined up his nose there. That's what I was talking about in the first game. So as you can see, we're probably already getting uh, better opponents. People are positioning, waiting for the ball. They're sitting uh, in defense. It's a good try. Matthias has this for free. I've also seen some comments in the first episode. People said that I should um, score open nets. I'm not really quite sure about that. Uh, I'm trying to figure that out. Um, what I should do with, like, you know, obviously open nets. Oh, no. Please, please score. Oh, good save. <laughs> I'm out. I just half flipped. I did that thing that I was talking about. Um, so I'm going to put this ball to the corner so it's safe. I got 100 boosts. I mean, I could have taken, I could have boosted a little bit to take this 100 boost. But I'm going to stay close. My teammate wanted it instead. I'm trying to stay behind the ball and, and uh, be in a good position. I'm going to pop this off the wall and see if my teammate wants it. He's... Oh. He stopped moving. Oh, that double was kind of crazy. This guy's moving pretty fast. Millie's moving pretty fast. My teammate came barreling in. It's a good try. Can he finish it? So once the ball was rolling towards the, the, the back wall there... He tried, that's a big thing that like the overcommits are really big. Like once you see the ball rolling past the, the net, a supersonic legend will do something different. They'll drive away from that and wait for the next play. Good try. Ah, oh, this is so open, but I mean, it's also really dangerous because they have a player there. I'm going to start boosting backwards towards the net and start saving. Good demo from my teammate. Kind of put it in a bad spot. Got to get in the way there. It's a, it's a tough one, but I saw the angle. Really pay attention to the nose of the car of the player coming towards the ball and where they're going to hit it. That's how I position for those shots. Like getting ready for where they're going to shoot the ball. Millie's up, man. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, 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 it's really important to see like where they're approaching. So like, once again, I'm going to compare it to Super Sonic Legend players. They know that the defenders are doing that. Um, that they're reading the player. So what they'll try to do is fake out the shot at the last seconds. That's why I'm saying like that won't work necessarily as much in the higher ranks. Uh, my teammates forward here. Millie's going forward with the ball there in fr front of the ball. But they're kind of panicking. Let's see if they can deal with the wall. My teammate might jump up for this. Good try. I like that they're lining up. And as you get better at the game, the goal is more and more open. The more you can aerial for that and stuff. So I can see that people are kind of struggling with the wall play here. We'll see what happens. Good try on the pinch. Millie's playing pretty well. He's he's going for those aerial touches. I'm going to steal that middle boost so my t uh, the opponent can't get it. He's going to drive near the wall here. Let's see what happens. So once I see this ball spill out to mid, there's nobody on left side. or I'm going to stay near the ball. Oh, my teammate wants it. You know, honestly, if he wants to play um, on the ball the whole time... Um, oh, that's a big boom. Oh, no. My bad. My bad. My bad. Oh, no. Save it. Save it. Save it. Save it. Save it. Save it. Yes, he scored. <laughs> okay. I feel bad, though, because that was a big boom. But as you can see, I was timing the, the half volley and um, and my teammate was ready for it. I can't believe he scored that instead of me. I shouldn't have done that. I was going to explain like timing the bounce, like sitting, uh, you know, ready for the ball to land for me. But, you know, it happens. I have possession right here. So me being close to the ball, they have to come in and they're... Okay. <laughs> my teammate wants to come in too. Um, 
You can see how scary it is for the uh, defenders when I sit there with the ball. I don't need to always hit it towards them. I can just let this roll to me and then go for the 50-50 the or something. Let's see if they can score this. Oh, he's cutting them up. He's cutting up nobody. <laughs> uh, he had an open net and he just decided to outplay the air. That's, um, that's new. I've never seen that one. Okay, so he's going for corner. He got the corner stolen. So once you're underneath the ball like this, you can kind of just, you know, leave so I can get in here. I can't get in here right now because my teammate still is turning around the ball. So it's important to uh, understand that. This ball's going to bounce back to middle here. I'm going to stay close. It bounced over his head. Did I touch that ball last? What a save. <laughs> that was incredible. These guys have high ping again, too. All right. So I got the ball next to me here. I hit to the side here. Millie's coming across the net. My teammates go in here. I'm kind of playing the back seat, like I said, on these on these games. I'm just letting my teammate figure out what he wants to do. That might be confusing for him too, though, because you know he doesn't. He's not really. Oh, good try. Good touch as well. Like you can tell that the control of the players at this rank already is. Oh. Oh. What is? Oh, he almost saved it. Uh, you can tell the control of the players already, like the positioning and the way they're driving. They they get. They've got a better feel for their car already. What a pool shot. I think that is a pool shot too, by the way. It's, it's a, they don't show that. I don't know if that shows on the stats if you have the stat lines up, but I don't have them up, I think. Actually, I think I do. Then maybe they don't show up anymore. They're secret stats. Good try. So like this net like is not really open. It's next to the wall. We got a player that left because I think he... Oh, he lost connection. So the ball's up. Good clear from Millie, but the game is over. It's uh, zero zero here, or zero zero seconds. We got Gladiator. I don't even know what that means. I'm not sure what that achievement is, but we got another. Okay, we got Pitch Veteran as well. Um, pretty good. Yes, yeah, so I was gold one, and I had a gold two teammate. So definitely the control of the players is is getting uh, much better as we go through the games here. Um, I did warn everybody that if I did this series again, that. The placement matches might place me in diamond or platinum, depending on how the games go. I mean, I may not win all these games. We'll see how they go, especially if I can't score. And I might get some t teammates who are a little tilted that I'm not scoring open nets. I, I don't know what to do. I think I might need to just, you know, as we go up here, as the ranks get harder and harder, um, start to score some of these open nets. We'll see how it goes. We got the final game of this episode. We got Moody on our team and a team of Matt Tu, Matt Tu, and uh, Important Owl. So I'm going to boost towards the ball. As you can see, they're also boosting towards the ball. You can save some boost by flipping. I won't do that quite yet because I'm not seeing players do it at this rank, but definitely something you could improve on if you are at this rank. And, uh, oh, he's backing up. He's he's backing up. <laughs> Good try. <laughs> he backed up into, like, our end. My teammate's turning on this. See what Moody does here. I'm just going to stay keep this close. I could have went towards the net and shot it, but once again, I don't want to score, so... I'm just trying to keep it close. See what they do. They're trying to challenge. My teammate rotated pretty far out. and He did miss the ball there, but this could be a good chip towards the net. See what he does here. Good try. Let's stay close here. Uh, Matthew's not moving, so I'm just going to roll this towards him. That's a good bump from uh, his teammate to get me out of the way. It's really important, in, especially in 2v2, to try and help your teammate whenever you can uh, on their way back. So we hit this towards net. I got time to clear it. My teammate didn't trust me, but that's okay. I'm going to wait behind here, see what he does. Pops the middle. I could have been a little more forward for him, but he's got it under control. Well played. Boost grab. He can leave here if he wants or stay close. He, he didn't really know what he wants to do. He's turning on this, though. That boost ended up pushing him way out of the ball because he didn't he didn't drift towards the, the ball there. Back out, see what happens. Okay, important owl's got a, an attempt on the ball here. So I can come up on this touch. See if my teammate can go for the shot. Big boom. Backboard's going to be difficult to deal with. He's confused. I'm going to pop this up the... Up. Oh, this might go in. No, 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 no. Save it, save it. Oh, okay. Good try, good try. I tried to pop that a little higher, but I was going a little too slow. All right, so big shot down the field. It's off the back. Once I recognize that it's not on, on target, I can wait and uh, go, go beside the ball and wait for the ball to land with me. I'm going to jump over the players. Demoing. It's in mid. See if my teammate can finish it. Nice finish. And almost an attempted, a really good attempted save there from Important Owl. So I didn't really do too much there. It just kind of rolled the wall and he popped it middle. My teammate was in a good position. You can tell the positioning is a lot faster now already in these games than even the first match. So the place matches are really pushing me up a little bit. Let's wait for the, the play in mid here. See if Woody stays near the ball. 
clean it on the field. I'm going to back off and make sure I stay behind the ball. It's going to be a good attempt. So he's waiting. I like that he was waiting for me to make a clear back to him. Let's see what happens here. Good save from Woody. So he boosted forward. I'll stay close to here. Pop it up. It's going to be... I, I kind of let go of the ball there by doing that, but... I think it's not too dangerous. Big bump. This is dangerous to go as last man here. I'm going to go for a challenge. Good clear from Owl. Good try from Moody, too. Did I call him Woody earlier? I might have. <laughs> to be honest, I don't remember. Good save. This guy's pretty fast. It's over my head. I mean, I could jump at that. And it's definitely a, a ball I could go for. If you feel comfortable going for it and stopping the pressure. But you don't have to. Especially, especially at this rank. I mean, in the future, you might have to. People would push onto that. But that's, that's going back to that whole thing I was talking about. How certain ranks, some things work. And uh, future ranks may not work. Or even um, things that used to work um, won't for a little bit. And then uh, we'll start working again. Like fakes in, in uh, Grand Champ and SSL. Those two, those, those two ranks, that throws people off a lot. But lower ranks may not actually fall for fakes. Um, they'll just go for the ball no matter what. Because they, um, depending on how much you are... I feel like burdened by knowledge is the thing that I like to say in this game. Um, the more that you know the risks of, of a certain play, um, the more you may be hesitant on what you're going for. So it's important not to hesitate in the game as well. Um, and just and just be sure about your decisions. As we get into higher ranks, I'm going to talk more about um, the red light, green light fallacy that I talked about. But not fallacy, but just like, you know, the way that I look at the game. And, uh, and, and show you guys like how to approach like hesitation in the game. Let's see if my teammate can finish it. Good shot, good finish. So that's really good uh, positioning once again for Moody. Getting ready for that in mid. I didn't do too much. I just passed it middle, just a little tap. And then I left it for my teammate because he's in a better position. I mean, I could have scored it too, but, you know, he's already ready and he's got his run up. He's got a faster speed. I was moving pretty slow there. Um, it's all about um, trade offs, and that works really well in high level rank too. So my teammate didn't go for the ball either. He's not moving. Did they make an attempt towards the net? Is Moody going to come back? So it's big clear. See so my teammate is coming up. He's not. He's still AFK. <gasps> he left me. Oh, no. They're going to score. What a save. I mean, it's, once again, it's zero seconds. It's up. All right. Well, that was quite an episode. I, I hope I explained some of my thoughts well. Uh, Moody played really well in this game. He actually MVP uh, for scoring both goals. Um, definitely, definitely let me know what you guys think of the commentary and where I can improve. I mean, I haven't done this in a long time, and I really want to make sure I'm helping people, especially because we're like passing through these ranks. We had Matt, who was a silver one. So I think there's a bit of a skill differential there on my teammate versus the other team. Important Owl is also unranked, I think, or he left too early. I'm not really quite sure. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode so far. Uh, like I said, this is in a playlist called Road to Super Sonic Legend 2023. If you want to check it out, if you missed the first episode, I will update that playlist as we go through our, our, each episode here. But until next time, have a great day, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.